All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a stencil using Silhouette Studio, and I'm sure this could actually be um, translated into Cricut as well. I'm not as familiar with it, but I'm sure it can. You can do the same, a similar thing in the Cricut design space. Okay, so most stencils now are six by six. So I'm going to turn off the grid so we can all see this and I'm going to change my width up here and I'm going to make my stencil six by six. And then I'm going to do an internal offset on this and it's already set to an eighth of an inch so that's absolutely fine. I'm going to also select both of these and make it a compound path. In Silhouette Studio, what that does is that make, means that that is a hole. If this, this is just that border right there, it, it's going to cut out the middle of it. This all goes together. If I were to release this compound path, then I just have two rectangles. I no longer have a frame, if you will. Now to center those back up, make that a compound path, and now I just have a frame. Now what I'm going to do is create several rectangles that go end to end, and I'm going to unfill this so we can see it make sure that our ends are within the margins of our frame here and I'm going to duplicate this a couple different times and then I'm just going to drag these down I'm not really worried about spacing at the moment because I'm going to get this to automatically do it for me in just a minute. Let me see how many I have here. One more. There we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these. And in Silhouette Studio, you actually hold down the Shift key to do that. And I'm going to make them adjust vertically together. And then I'm also going to align them horizontally to the left. And then I'm going to shift them all over just a shade. There we go. Now all we need to do is make sure I should not have unselected those. Whoops. We are going to right click and group that. And that way we can do this and make sure that it's centered. So that means that the top and the bottom are centered and we have even spacing in our lines here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to weld those and now it becomes all one piece. Ta-da! Now all you have to do is send this over and cut it out. You can adjust the settings on it. You can adjust the uh, width of it you can make this however you want to and that's literally how you put together a stencil this right here you can also if you're making it yourself you can keep all the pieces because it's going to cut this out of the main piece and you're still going to have all the inserts however you do this at whatever width you decide to so you could do a rainbow very easily at the top you're doing your red 
but you have the insert in this so that you're not worried about whether or not your red is going to bleed into your next color. You could do all of this white. You could, it's a million different ways you could do this. So that's how you actually make a stencil in uh, Silhouette Studio, and I'm sure this could actually be used in uh, Design Space as well.